So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mass code site, and today we will be solving our next POTD. And today's problem is node at distance. Let us have a look. What does the problem say? So today's problem is give off topic binary tree, right? Binary tree. I hope you are familiar with this. We have been asked that we have got a binary tree as input. We have got a K as input, right? And we have to return the nodes, number of nodes, number of nodes, which are good, which are good. Now, what is the definition of good? Definition of good is that the node should be at a distance of at a distance of k exactly k from a leaf node from at least one leaf node okay in the downward fashion obviously in the downward fashion right okay so for the given example k is equals to 2 if we analyze for 4 what are the nodes which are possible 4 is a leaf node so 2 is distance 1 1 is distance 2 so 1 is a possible node right for 5 again 2 3 so 1 is again a possible node for 8 8 is a leaf node here so 6 is a distance 1 3 is a distance 2 so 3 is a possible node now for 7 7 is a leaf node 7 3 is, 3 is a distance 1 and 1 is a distance 2 so 1 again but if you observe the number of distinct nodes number of distinct nodes then these are only 1 and 3 so our answer would be 2 our answer is 2 okay so we have to read out the number of distinct good nodes right i hope you are clear with the input output and we are you are ready to move to the approach okay so the approach says approach says do whatever the question demands what does that mean it says traverse the tree okay then for each node check if it can be one of the possible good node if yes answer plus plus else continue right okay how will we check we will use dfs something like dfs right go down 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 if you encounter a leaf node then return the distance equals to equals to k something like that we will implement it using the code and then i will discuss the further steps from you okay so let us code it around code it there so i will say my answer is zero okay answer plus equals to traverse name your traverse traversing the tree and send the root here and send the k here right and then it on your answer this will be my driver code after that i have to write the code for uh, traverse so traverse is turning an int so int traverse taking a node of net is limit as root only and int k right for traverse if my root is equals to equals to null in that case it turns 0 correct otherwise my answer will be 0 and now if check what is the check function doing the check function is checking if we are doing if node is check if it can be one of the possible nodes check function is used for checking if it is a good node for that we will send the root which are which we are currently standing at with k and an variable distance which is 0 right if it is true then answer plus plus after that 
आंसर प्लस इक्वल्स टू ट्रेवर्स रूट्स लेफ्ट विथ के ओनली आंसर प्लस इक्वल्स टू ट्रेवर्स रूट राइट विथ के ओनली एंड देन रिटर्न योर आंसर दिस इज माई मेन ट्रेवर्सल कोट राइट जस्ट यू हैव टू राइट द द हार्डेस्ट पार्ट राइट नाउ चेक राइट सो चेक विल बी रिटर्निंग एन एंड और बूल यू कैन डू यूज बूल ऑल्सो सो एंड चेक टेकिंग द नोड राइट एंड इट विल बी टेकिंग एंड के एंड इट विल बी टेकिंग एंड डी डी इज फॉर डिस्टेंस राइट नाउ इफ वी स्टैंडिंग एट अ लीफ नोड दैट इज बोथ लेफ्ट इक्वल्स टू नल फॉर नोड एंड नोड राइट इज ऑल्सो नल that is the condition for leaf node that is no for the nodes in this tree uh, in this path that is the node nodes left and nodes right right is equals to null that means we are standing at um, leaf node in this case if d is equals to equals to k then return 1 why if d is equals to equals to k and we are standing at leaf node that means the check function was starting from a node which is the distance d from the given leaf node right else return 0 right now take a variable c equals to 0 to check if it is present uh, if this condition is not valid then we have to check in the subsequent left subtree and right subtree for that if my nodes left is not null in that case C equals to C or check function of nodes left with k, but distance will be d plus one, right? If same for right, if nodes right, C equals to C check nodes right. K with d plus one, right? Because we are going sub first further down, we have inc increased the distance. And if any one of them is returning true, we have to return true, right? Return C. I hope this is the code that will run fine. Let's try to compile and run it. So it is running fine for compile and run. Let's try it for submit also. Hope it works. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel. and please stay here we will analyze it why is it working okay so what we have done is we had a tree one connected to two and three two connected to four and five and three connected to six and seven and six connected to eight yes correct okay what we did was we traversed from the time of traversal we are here right at 1 for one what, what what did we do we are standing at 1 we have to go to till two distance and the distance is zero right now all right so one is not a leaf node as you can see so we went for two's node distance need two and now when we are going down we have to increment the distance because for 1 2 is at a distance 1 so 1 right and it will be 2 so it will be 3 2 1 that is this node now for this node 2 2 1 2 correct for 2 2 1 it is not a leaf node so it will have to go to 4 and 5 for that it will go 4 2 now at a distance 2 Because one plus one gives me two. Here five, two, two, right? Now four and five are both leaf nodes. Four is a leaf node, and it will see two equals to two. It will return true. Five equals five is a leaf node. Two equals to two return true. But both of them are returning true. True. So true, true gives me true, right? I don't care what is the output from this right now because I have got the true. So it will be returning one, right? so my answer is which was currently 0 it will become to 1 correct 
Now same for 2. Same for 2. We have to check if it is also a valid. For 2, it will go down, but it will not result any, right? Now for 3. For 3, it will go up till 8 and see just correct. So this is a main approach. What is the time complexity? Time complexity is O of n square. Because as you can see, we are traversing the tree twice. Right? And a space complexity? A space complexity is O of 1. It can be named as O of n because of the recursion. Recursion cost stack, sorry. But it is essentially O of 1 because we are not using any data structure to store the array. This was all from my side. Hope you liked the video. And please don't forget to subscribe because it gives me a lot of motivation. And thank you. Keep watching. We'll meet tomorrow. Till then, keep coding and stay safe. Have a nice day.